Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful message in the sand. Now before we get started, I want to let you know that I have opened up my YouTube channel membership and with it comes some perks. Click that join button and find out what the perks are and join one of my levels. All right, so I'm going to start by creating a new page. And one of the questions that I always get asked is, could you let us know what size you're starting with? So this specific workspace is the workspace of a thumbnail, a YouTube thumbnail. So um, for curiosity's sake, it is 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And but your workspace might be something different depending on what you're using it for. If you're designing a T-shirt, maybe it might be eight by 10 inches. Um, if it's a post, then you would use the design space of a Facebook post. So I'm going to start by going to elements and placing a photo of a beach with footsteps on my workspace. And I'm going to set this as my background. And I'm going to make this a little bit larger just so that I get more of the sand space and I can have a little bit more room to write. I'm going to place some text on my workspace and I'll write my message. And I'm just going to select my text one more time. I'm going to go over to my font selection and I'm going to look for a font called Rubik Bubbles. And you can just search for bubbles in here and it will come up. Um, so here is my text box right here. Now I'm going to resize my text box because I want my message to fit in between my footsteps and the beach shore. And I'm going to try and just make that a little bit larger, like so. All right, so now I'm going to select the text box. I'm going to go into text color. And over where the photo colors are, I'm going to select the lightest color. And now I'm going to make a copy of that text box. And I'm going to go back to uh, my text effects and I'm going to select hollow, the hollow effect. And I'm going to change the color and I'm going to change it to a slightly darker shade of that beige. So I'll come in here and I'll just try and match it with the dark shaded area of the footsteps. And the easiest way to do this, I mean, you can toggle up and down to get the perfect shade but we can go into the eyedropper and we can just um, select the shade from the eyedropper and so i'm just going to close this right now so i'm just going to go back here and i'm going to go back to that hollow effect uh, because i want to toggle the thickness and just make it a little bit um thinner Okay, so I'm going to try and position that right on top of my, my font. So here it is. And now what I'm going to do with that top layer is I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to try and bring it up and to my right a little bit. So I'm going to grab it and I'm just going to bring it up and to the right. And now I'll make a copy of that and I'll make another copy and another copy and I'll just stop right there. Um, and I'll take that top layer and I'm going to change the color to the lighter color like that. All right. So now that we've done that, what we're going to let's go back and let's take a look at it. So here is our message. Now we can see that the text goes on top of the water, the shoreline. And if you want to create an in and out effect in the characters, 
then this is how I did that. Now I took that background image and I placed it on a new page. And from here, I made the background black and I also added some text. The reason why I'm doing this is because I cannot remove the background here. Canva doesn't know what the background is and what it isn't. So I'm having to recreate this design and adding a background and then bringing it back into Canva so that I can remove the sand. So I'm going to go to share. I'm going to download my second page only. And I'm going to bring it back into Canva. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to grab that image and I'm going to remove the background. All right, so let me just make the background white so we can see what's happened. And nothing really happened, but that's okay because we're, now we have the option to manually erase things on this design. So I'm just going to make my eraser larger and I'm just going to come here and just erase all of this. And I'm going to try and get as close as possible to the shore as I can. And then I'll just make the brush size smaller and come in and customize. And this isn't going to take you a long time. Don't worry. And if you make a mistake like I did, don't worry because we can restore it. Okay. Now I am going fast because I know you guys don't like watching videos for a very long time. So I'm trying to go as fast as I can. And just talking about that, I do like to talk a lot about what I'm doing because I want you guys to know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to restore that a little bit and then I'm going to come back and I'm just going to erase the part that I was supposed to erase. Okay, so now that I'm done there, I'm just going to press the X and I'm going to take this design so I'm going to copy it, control C, and I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to paste that design and I'm going to paste it right in behind or in the middle of the words. All right. And now I'm going to take that shoreline and I'm just going to push it behind some of those layers. So I'll come in here to position and I'll start dragging it down and you can just drag it as far down as you want. Okay, so I'll just leave it at that. And finally, for that shadow effect, what I did was I went into elements and I searched for a side profile woman and this is the photo that I used I removed the background I flipped it and I brought it over here and down and I made it larger and I positioned it but I moved it over to the side like this and then I came up to transparency and I brought the transparency down to make a shadow. And that's it, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Before you go, please, 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 if you learned anything, press that like button and subscribe so that you're first to be notified when new content comes out. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye. Hugs.